Good morning, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Seattle. <laughs> welcome to Boulder Middle School's 2019 Moving Up Ceremony. My Before I begin, I want to first thank you for your patience. We wanted to make sure all the students and uh, dignitaries have arrived because of the wonderful weather that we're having. And uh, so sit back and relax and enjoy. My name is Karen Barnes, and I am not only one of your eighth grade English language arts teachers, I'm also your host for this morning's celebration. Now, with the assistance of a few amazing eighth grade honorees, I would like to invite you to please stand for the presentation of colors, the Pledge of Allegiance, and the National Anthem. Color guards entering. of three years of blood, sweat, tears, joy, happiness, and success. So congratulations to all the parents, grandparents, and guardians of these soon-to-be graduates. Your hard work, 
has paid off. I would like to introduce to you a few educators who also share in this milestone. Please hold all applauses until everyone has been introduced. Educators on stage, please wave so that our audience can acknowledge you at the end. From the district office, Dr. Sherry Cammy, Superintendent. Board of Ed, Ms. Annie Dureska, President, Ms. Mary Jo Hagen, Vice President. Administrators, Mr. Timothy Marr, Middle School Principal, Dr. Neil Testa, Senior High School Principal, Ms. Lori McKenzie, and Mr. Michael Levine, Dean of Students, and Ms. Jerry Weinstein, Pupil Services Coordinator, and our dedicated middle school staff seated behind me. Please give all a round of applause. There are many people who have helped to put this ceremony together. The Moving Up Committee, who consists of Christopher Fahey, Dana Fisher, Mary Kate Hill, Martha Kopolinski, Michael Levine, Anne Marie Lynam, Timothy Marr, Francesca Nardella, Jennifer Nussbaum, Dina Shaw, Philomena Tamarino, Jamie Tiller, Carmela Tufano, Corinne Tamarello, and myself. Every year without fail, these staff members volunteer to help make this day a memorable one. So I would like to personally thank you. And finally, Mr. Siri and the custodial staff, as well as guidance secretary, Ms. Bieria, who takes care of all the clerical work associated with the moving of summer honors including the printing of all certificates. We thank you. Your dedication and service has not gone unnoticed. At this time, I would like to introduce our principal, Mr. Timothy Moore. Morning, everybody. I also wanted to uh, welcome uh, my fellow administrator, uh, Dr. Dr. Mankese. Uh, Ms. Gail Mankese is uh, one of our assistant principals. She's on stage with me. And uh, I just want to make a correction from the program. It is Dr. Neil Testa, uh, not Mr. Testa. I've had an opportunity to meet with him a few times. And I think uh, as uh, incoming ninth grade students and parents, you'll be very pleased with what's in store at the high school with Dr. Testa. Good morning, Dr. Cammy, Dr. Testa my fellow middle school administrators, esteemed staff, parents, grandparents, families, friends, and particularly to our moving up eighth grade students. I want to give the audience an idea of how polite and respectful our eighth grade students are. Yesterday, when leaving their yearbook signing ceremony, they decided that it was quite warm. I guess they know where I'm going with this. <laughs> And they decided to help each other out with the bottles of water that our PTA so graciously donated and made sure that everybody was cooled off. <laughs> Being the respectful group that they are, and this is a true story, several of them at different points came up to me and said, Mr. Marr, aren't you hot? <laughs> I said, I feel great, thank you. And they said, it's very warm. I said, I'm okay. They said, we have water. I said, leave it right there, I'm fine. And they did. And as silly a story as that is, that is the level of respect that they have. They saw an opportunity. They wanted to take the opportunity. They respectfully asked if they could take the opportunity. I respectfully declined. This group of eighth grade students is a terrific group of young people. We're blessed with unbelievable young men and young women. They have high aspirations for their future achievements. They represent the second group of eighth grade students in our school district's history to almost every one of them take the Oswald Regents. And those that didn't challenge themselves 
in eighth grade math class. Dr. Cami is going to get into more specifics about our results. Let me just say uh, that we are so very proud of the achievements of our students, and I thank you for that achievement. But we are not just about outstanding academic achievements. We also are committed to being a building focused on treating each other with kindness and respect. This year, we were the only middle school on Long Island who participated in the Lady Gaga Born This Way Foundation's 21 Days of Kindness. I also never thought I'd say Lady Gaga. <laughs> Our students, the very same students sitting here before me, were highlighted in a video, now Lady Gaga's mother, I'm going to call her Mama Gaga. She shared this video nationwide telling the story of some of the acts of kindness that took place right here at BMS. I asked some of our moving up students what they learned at Baldwin Middle School. One graduate shared, something I learned in middle school was to always be yourself, no matter what, and to always be kind to people. Another student said, I learned how to be a bigger person and to never give up. A student shared to stay focused and keep on following your dreams. Another shared, I learned to stay true to who I am and be focused on doing well in school and having fun. Imagine a country where the adults lived out what our eighth graders have learned and what they live. The late U.S. Senator John McCain said the following in a speech on the Senate floor two summers ago. What have we to lose by trying to work together to find solutions? We're not getting much done apart. I don't think any of us feels very proud of our incapacity, he went on to say. Merely preventing your opponents from doing what they want isn't the most inspiring work. There's greater satisfaction in respecting our differences, but not letting them prevent agreements that don't require abandonment of core principles Agreements made in good faith that help improve lives and protect the American people. The Honorable late Senator McCain was blessed with the strength and knowledge that our BMS students already possess. His words speak of unity, of collaboration, of respecting each other's differences, of celebrating our commonness, of being true to ourselves. These same principles have been followed for the past three years by this very special group of graduates, the Baldwin Senior High School class of 2023. We have great young people sitting before us this morning. You are well deserving of today's celebration and of promotion to Baldwin Senior High School. Thank you for your hard work here. Thank you for your kindness. Thank you for making Baldwin Middle School a better place. At this time, I wanted to take a moment to recognize the extraordinary efforts over the past couple of decades here at Baldwin Middle School of two esteemed colleagues of mine who are moving on to retirement. We wish them health and happiness as they move on. I ask Ms. Robin Salmon and Ms. Kerry Jimenez to come forward at this time. Since they were here before you, they'll receive the first two certificates of completion of the Baldwin Middle School curriculum. <laughs> so congratu congratulations to Ms. Jimenez and Ms. Salmon, and our best wishes for happiness, health, and many wonderful memories with their friends and family as they move forward. Congratulations. At this time, I'd like to ask our 8th grade students to please rise. And first to offer uh, a hand to the outstanding school staff members seated before you and behind me who have led you through these three years. Please give them a round of applause. Now, 
I know, I know you're sweaty and don't really want to do this, but turn around and face the lovely people behind you. And I'd like you to please offer a round of applause to your parents and guardians, your grandparents, your siblings, for what we're here this morning to share on this special day with you. And finally, I'd like to ask our eighth grade students to be seated. I'd like to ask everybody else in the auditorium to please offer a hand to our esteemed students who are celebrating this afternoon. Thank you very much, Ms. Barnes. Mark, we have very inspiring words. At Baldwin Middle School, we are very fortunate to have with us our string ensemble under the direction of Ms. Megan Ferguson Cosi, who will play See You Again. Our young people this year, uh, 
um, in eighth grade really focused on two questions. The first was, what does it take to be a just person? And the second was, how can humans stop or reverse climate change? Now those are not simple questions, and they require a lot of deep thinking and deep research, and some of those answers will change over time. But our eighth graders spent a lot of time really thinking about those questions, and my hope going forward is that they continue to think about those questions. I have to acknowledge the faculty behind me, because asking a school system to change is the equivalent of asking a volcano to erupt on demand. It is difficult. It's almost impossible. But when you have people behind you who are with you and want to make a change that's meaningful and important for not only us, but for the world, they do it. So I want to, with my back facing them, thank them because they worked extraordinarily hard this, this year, along with our administrators, <coughs> to really develop a curriculum that mattered to our young people. Mr. Moore mentioned our outdoor movements. So here's ground, groundbreaking news. Groundbreaking for Baldwin Middle School historically. This is the second year that our entire eighth grade, with few exceptions, all took a high school class in eighth grade all to the outdoor region. Last year, we were amazed at a 91% passing rate. This year, we blew the roof off of that with a 95% passing rate. to lean in 
Make sure that your kids are up and on time in school every single day. Make sure that they are doing their homework and they're going above and beyond anything that's being asked of them. Make sure you know where they are. If they say, I'm going to my friend Timothy's house, well, make sure you call Timothy's mom and they're all getting together. And when you hear the words, but oh, mom, everyone's doing it, ask specifically who and make a couple of phone calls to make sure that that's <laughs> I want you to know that we, and, and most people have heard me say this a hundred thousand times, but I mean it sincerely, Baldwin has the nicest, most respectful, kindest, smartest group of students I have ever had the pleasure to work with. And this eighth grade is no exception to that. I wish all of you tremendous success in high school. I will see you there, and I am looking forward to greeting you on the stage four years from now as you graduate high school. Congratulations. Thank you, Dr. Cammy. And now our string ensemble will perform This Is Me.
You have been waiting. The moving up portion of the program. Remember to clear the aisles as students will be making their way to the stage. Students will move from the middle school. Say goodbye to Mr. Moore and shake his hand. Cross the stage where they will enter high school. They will be greeted by the new principal, Dr. Tess. Remember a couple rules. Hold all applauses until each staff member has completed reading his or her list of names. And please, no shout outs. Everybody's good? Right. I want you, before we begin, we're going to try this out. I want you to give a round of applause for all the moving up participants tonight, and you can do all of your shout outs and yelling and screaming like that. But are you ready? One, two, three. Begin with our first teacher to read the names will be Ms. Nia Thompson. Good morning. Please hold all applause until the last name has been read. Miriam Adesanya. Abel Aguilar. Shade Aman. Jacqueline Alberto Duena. Ali Victoria Allen Hadassah Ambrose Hendrick Amity.
Kinza Amjad. Rodney Andre. Amelia Arvella. Matthew Atanashu. Angel Baez. <coughs> Jamie Bahana Mera. Stacy Baptiste. Kayla Bennett. Armando Big. Quasi Bansu. Lucas Barello. Leilani Boss. William Boyd the Third. Mason Bradfield. Joshua Brand. Kayla Brigell. Sarah Brian Fernandez. Congratulations to those students. I would like to now invite Ms. Palmer to Callie 
Ariana Campbell. Mateo Cardes. Giselle Carlo. Juliana Carney. Alyssa Carasquillo. Olivier Casimir. Brianna Christopher. Rebecca Consola. Marjolene Perez Amantar. Lincoln Acosta III. Taylor Dorsey. Congratulations to those students. I would like to, I would like to now invite Ms. Karakner to announce the next group of students. Jaden Deer Fallon. Sage D. 
alone. Daniel Dieternas. Yuro Diamanka. Jordan Diaz. Emily Apples. Ariani Esquiera. Sebastian Asper. Jason Espina. Julius Avalard. Eunice Karapi. Amir Farah. Joanna Fazekia. Brian Feeney. Alyssa Fernandez. Joseph Falone. <coughs> William Gaines. <coughs> Anastasia Garcia. Isabel Gautier. <coughs> Mark Goodman III. Joshua Gordon. Allison Gordon Miranda. Terrence Grant Bethune. Zaira Grady. Jonathan Grimaldos Castellan. Angelo Ferreira. Carl Levy Ferrier. Joseph Guzman. Jaden Hanslip. Kelsey Hawk. Naya Hayden. Congratulations to those.
those two. Continuing to hold your applause until all the names have been read. Winston Herbert. Jabari Higgins. Javion Hutchinson. Sanai Irving. Jacqueline Janice. Ariana Jean. Cedric Jean Pierre, Tayden Giles, Shelson Joseph. Jovel <coughs> Richard Katz <laughs> Dilpreet Kaur Ciara Kong. Gianna Lamada. Shanroy Laidlaw. Denise Loriano, Samantha Lee. Elijah Lewis Villano. Janae Lindsay. Jonathan Linhart. Alyssa Long. Keith Llewellyn.
Rachel Lyons. Congratulations, students. <laughs> Mrs. Delahunty will announce the next group of students. Good morning. Thank you for continuing to hold your applause until all names are read. Jenna Marcus. Aaron McBride. Tyler Means. Lamont Messi. Jonathan Mercedes. Ryan Mervell. Catrell Morales Gonzalez. Andres Moreno Baeja. Alexandra Murray. Allison Nicholas. Marcus Ockley. <coughs> Jubilee O'Cory. Jaden O'Coram. Angelina Ortiz. Cynthia Osario Yanez. <coughs> Jessica Pacheco. <coughs> Ashley Patton. Dylan Pierce. Dejanay Peterkin. Donovan Felitas. Jalen Anthony Phillip. Sydney Pierre. Stephanie Pierre Louis. Gavin Pintado.
David Polonia. Congratulations to those students. continuing to hold your applause until the last name has been read. Luke Prada. Sersha Kwan. <laughs> Deanna Romero. Tyler Ramos. Sean Rampersal. Umas Rasa. Thomas Riley. Peyton Richards. Caitlin Rios Checo. Ariana Rivas. Mia Rivas. Emily Rodriguez. Jose Rodriguez Jr. Delby Rodriguez Perez. Cassandra Roger. Ashley Rowe. Natalie Rosario. Alexander Rossi. Congratulations to these students. Until the last name has been read. This is our last group, so after this group, we can all go crazy. 
lot, okay? Sorry. <laughs> Reswana Ahmed Ruhi. Newark Samrash. Mark Sandberg. Rapsana Saragusa. Alicia Seeprasad. Christopher Shaw. Dominic Seguenza. Garielle Sinclair. Olivia Specht. Morgan St. Clair. Patrick Stewart. Zamar Supersad. Jacob Swanson. Gregory Terry Foster. Demario Thomas. <coughs> Jonna Thompson. Aureen Thompson. Samantha Torres. Adina Turner. Matthew Orutia Sanchez. Yudisa Valdez Hernandez. Stephanie Velasquez. Isabella Victoria. Nehu Vieira. Samari Walston. Sayla Walton. Darian Ward Jr. Noble Whitfield.
Jamaica Williams. Farrell Wright. Smyrna Yoke Batista. Daniela Zambrano. Congratulations to those. Senior High School, I would like to, to reintroduce Dr. Neil Testa, your future principal. Good morning. Good morning. Esteemed members of the Board of Education, Ms. Oresta and Ms. Kovacan, Superintendent of the Schools, Dr. Cabby, Middle School Principal, Mr. Marr, distinguished faculty and staff, parents, family members, friends, and most importantly, to the students. Thank you for inviting me to be part of the special occasion. As the incoming high school principal, it is my privilege to welcome you to the Baldwin High School class of 2023. <laughs> Even though we do not know each other, we heard to share something in common. Before I tell you, I want to offer each student in the class of 2023 a challenge. It's a challenge that won't cost you anything, nor does it require making something new. It doesn't involve attaining a certain grade point average or a specific score on a standardized test. The challenge is simple in its concept, yet difficult in many respects. It is a challenge I give to myself each and every school year, and I want to task you with the same. Sometimes when we encounter something new, in this case, going to high school, we're not quite sure what to expect and how difficult it might be. One thing we do know for sure is that we all hope what we encounter will be positive and rewarding. One of the best ways to achieve this in high school is to participate in activities and events that help the school and community. While still important to do, this is not my challenge. However, it does involve trying to make a positive impact on others. One person can make a difference, and everyone else should try. President John F. Kennedy said those words, and it couldn't be more fitting to describe my simple yet difficult challenge that I have for each of you. I am challenging you with a task that you can do multiple times a day, starting when you first enter the school in the morning. You can do this when you're in the halls going from class to class. You can do this anytime you pass someone in school. It may be something you already do but don't even know. Or, it may be something you don't do all the time, nor not at all. It is something that everyone should try to do, because it can make a difference. My challenge is this. Do try and say hello. Try to say hello to your peers, to your teachers, to other adults in the building. Say hello to me, and I will to you. Most importantly, try to say hello even if you do not know the person you are greeting. It doesn't even need to be hello. Give me hi, good morning, good afternoon, hey, what's up, how you doing? Any form of hello will work. You may not know the person very well or not at all, but that is the whole point. Even the people you don't know in school, you still share common connections with. That is, being all part of the same Baldwin High School community. If you try, you may find yourself making a difference. It may seem so small, but the impact can be great. This simple act can make a proud difference, not only to the people on the receiving end of your hello, but to you as well. 
The more you are willing to connect yourself to others, to others, the more you'll be able to grow and learn successfully. And as a result, have a positive and rewarding experience. So again, our challenge to you is, do try to say hello. Okay, so what does that have in common with each other? Well, just like all of you, I will be new to Baldwin High School. We'll be going through this new experience together. So saying hello when you see me in the halls will help me just as much as it will help you. And before you know it, we'll be well into the school year. And then eventually, four years will pass and you'll be graduating. You will walk across that stage excited for the new challenges ahead. And as my first group of students to graduate, won't that moment be wonderful as I shake your hand in congratulations to know that it all started with a hello. I'm excited to see all the great things that you will do next year and beyond. I hope that you are just as excited to begin as members of Baldwin High School as I am. Have a wonderful summer, and I will see you all in the fall. Congratulations. the last time in your middle school career, I would like to introduce Mr. Timothy Moore. The Board of Education at this point uh, gives me the uh, right to share the following statement. Dr. Cammy, Board of Education members, honored staff and guests, I hereby certify that the eighth grade students sitting before us have completed the requirements necessary to successfully move up to the ninth grade next year. Congratulations. <laughs> from Baldwin High School who will share an inspirational message to all of us today. He once sat in this same building, in the same auditorium, like you. Let me introduce 12th grader, Timothy Warner. Help me get a customer. I quit. 
I became one of Baldwin's morning announcers. I became a major part of Baldwin's music program, and now I'm going to college to study trombone performance. And I've slowly but surely become one of the most recognizable people in my grade. Now, I'm not here to say that that's just going to be exactly your life path. It might, in fact, might be like a little different. But don't worry, you'll find your way. You can come into high school thinking your life is a total dream. And you can come out having even a few cherished friends and finding your way to life. The middle school has prepared you for this challenge. For most of the obstacles that you will face, you have friends, extracurricular interests, and academic goals to keep you pushing forward and never give up. Now it's up to you to create your high school experience. I can guarantee you that there will be upperclassmen who will reach out to you, be it your old friends from previous classes or seniors you've never known before. I know a lot of them. If you put your mind to it and keep yourself forward, you'll find that there are people who will inspire you, people who are moving forward with you, and eventually, if not already, people who will aspire to be like you on their path to success. It will be tough, but you'll get through it. Me and the other 354 people in the high school graduating class are all tethered to that. So congratulations, class of 2019. As the string ensemble plays their final number, let it reach once. We will ask that parents once again clear the aisle. Educators and guests on stage will recess out of the auditorium first, followed by the students who will be walking into the gymnasium to receive their certificates. Please look for the sign posted in the gym. Your certificates will be listed alphabetically. If you attended the ceremony during your sibling session, you will find your certificate attached to their certificate. Refreshments will be served in the dining hall, courtesy of the PTA. To our newly installed Baldwin High School students, as you prepare to leave the middle school, remain grateful for your support that you received in these three years at the middle school, humbled by your accomplishments and driven by your dreams. In the words of the late poet Lloyd, Dr. Maya Angelou, a person is the product of their dreams. So make sure to dream great dreams and try to live your dreams. Thank you for enriching three years and may success continue to follow you to high school and beyond. Congratulations. Congratulations.